saying LeBron lies all the time? 50% of the time. <laughs> 50. 50% of the time, he lies all the time. All right. First topic here. What are some things that are normal to men but mind-blowing to women? And I have some answers here from Reddit, but I want to throw this to you guys first if you guys have anything that you want to bring up of something that, honestly, you think is completely and utterly normal uh, that just blows women's minds. So, Frank. You know, I... I couldn't think of, I'd have to have like the, the engine to get revved up. I couldn't think of anything. Even when I read that, that topic, I was like, I honestly, I cannot think of anything at the moment that would blow their minds. We have penises. Kicks and balls. <laughs> 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 All right, Spano, you got anything? Oh, man. Um, so is it something that, honest that guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, and real quick, Spano, did you edit that in the YouTube chat, Anna, or did, um, or did YouTube edit that? That's the question because it's got two stars on it. So anyway, go ahead, Spano. Um, something. Okay, so talking on the phone to your buddy, right? If we talk for an extended amount of time, uh, and then I talk to my wife, she'll be like, "Oh, well, you know, how's?" You know, how's his wife doing? How's how's his? You know, and I'm, and then you're like, I don't know. You know, <laughs> they think because you talked for like two hours that you found out everything you know that's going on in their life. When in actuality, you're talking about the football playoffs. You're talking about fantasy f- sports and and whatever. So that kind of blows their mind a little bit. <laughs> I think it's you, very. We could talk for hours. Yeah, that's very similar to I think to one of the ones that I have here here from Reddit. Land, do you have one? Well, mine was similar to what Spano had, but like. You can hang out with like your buddy for like eight hours and not say a thing about personal lives and just the whole eight hours just talk shit. You know what's about random stuff. I mean, this truly leads right into the from what both of you guys said here. And uh, so if you guys want to check on the screen here, um, this is what somebody had put on, which, by the way, there's Dr. Orgasm. (laughs) That's the guy that responded (laughs) on Reddit. Uh, so the first answer was long car rides with another dude. Nobody says anything and nobody is mad. Like literally just being able to be in a car and not say a word. And it's not because somebody's pissed off at somebody else. Man, I both read in both those though. I think it's just, that's just person to person because there are some dudes that just talk and talk and annoy the crap out of you on car rides. And there's others that get pissed off at every little thing and let everybody know about it. So I honestly think those two are just kind of, it depends on the individual and in their uh, personality more than anything. So Frank is admitting he's a woman. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing. I'm not saying it was me. Oh, I'm saying, well, well, Brandon, you get pissed at everything. I mean, you think you could go a whole week like this one guy says and just shrug it off at the end of the the week? Yeah. I do it all the time. Bullshit. I do this once a week with you guys. What the hell do you think I'm doing? load his camera up four minutes before we start. (laughs) Technology's different. (laughs) <laughs> here's another one from reddit where this person says uh, my wife continually asks me did anyone say anything about your shirt hair clothes etc no no one says anything about my appearance because my wife yeah, okay. will bring stuff up like that i can well. go with that like dudes can dress up and not even notice how the other people how like other guys are dressed up and their their wives or girlfriends ask for a report like well what was what was sam wearing like i don't know clothes <laughs> shoes <laughs> well how'd he have his hair i don't know it was combed it was there it wasn't it shaved. was there yeah it was there <laughs> uh then this person responds i have owned one shirt that i've ever been complimented on my purple yu hakusho shirt hmm. really maybe he just wears it all the time another person says i had a white one and the same happened to me a lot with that shirt yu hakusho is automatic riz <laughs> From the beard, other dudes? The beard over in the chat says men can sit without thinking of anything. Just enjoy silence and nothingness. That's my whole life. That's very zen, man. That is very... I got another one. Ooh, fire away. And I didn't know. I was debating on whether or not I was going to go with it. I took the high road, but screw it, man. I'm taking the show down. Are yeah. you guys ready? Something that, that guys think is totally normal, but it blows women's minds. So groups of, of guys that are friends will text each other pictures of their Mondo Dukes. Uh, 
Right? Yeah, I've never done that, but my brother did. That stuff grossed I, me out, man. Same here. I've never done it, but I have a group of friends. They all do it. Yeah. But it's totally normal to them because yeah. they want to out, you know, outdo each other. And that, that would just blow. I don't even know if women realize that guys do that sometimes, but that would blow their mind. Yeah, there's uh, well, yeah, it, not in not in, not from our high school, and I, I think I've brought this up on the live stream before. And I don't know if I've br told this story to you, Spano. Was in high school when I think I was a freshman, and I was sitting oh. in the lunch cafeteria, and all of a sudden, this group of guys comes in from the football team, and like they grab, not physically grab, but they there's they come in, and there's like four or five other kids that get up with them, and then they leave, and they're like coming in shifts. And they're gone for like five or 10 minutes and they keep leaving. Alan knows exactly what the fuck I'm talking about because we went to high school together. So finally they got to my table and they're like, hey, you want to see it? <laughs> and I'm like, what? And they were like, just, just come here. And in the locker room, and I'll call him out. There's Jason Stark, star of the football team, <laughs> gave birth <laughs> in the fucking bathroom, dude. Yuck. Somebody tag him in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, I got, one, I got one. Um, this goes for men when they're out at bars and, and ladies. I, I, I can, I can, I've seen this happen hundreds of times. Men are clueless as to when women are hitting on them a lot of the times. Yep. And if you want to get a guy to get your attention, you need to. If you're in your group of girls, tell those girls to to vamoose. Because even if there is three guys and three girls, those three guys are going to be two chicken shit to come and talk to y'all because there's more than one girl there. If you tell your girls to vamoose out, that that, that puts the, the percentage higher that this guy will come over. But guys, are most men are, are clueless when women are hitting on them. I you actually have, have, a, tell them. I have a story about that when I was hanging out with Spano. We were at the bar and it was with his ex. And we were just kind of sitting, hanging out. And this this girl who was clearly drunk came over to me and she's like rubbing up against me. And I'm like, she's like, she's fucking wasted. Like she needs to be gone. Mm -hmm. And Spano's <laughs> ex was like, she was totally hitting on you, man. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And she's like, yeah. She's like, you, you could not tell that she was hitting on you? And I'm like, no, I figure I just assume she's wasted and I'm not going to like try to take advantage of some drunk chick. So no, absolutely not. And so she had to tell me, she's like, yeah, that chick totally hitting on you. And then I, I, I've, I've, all the time I've seen it. And yeah. it happened to me as well um, with my wife. We were at the bar and I was like, I I'm going to go up and I'm going to go order some drinks and I'll be back. So I'm up there and as I'm ordering drinks. This girl comes up and she just starts talking to me. She's like, hey, you ordering drinks? And I'm like, yeah, I'm getting one for me and my wife. Thinking that this would like get her to go away. And it, it didn't. She just kind of sat there. So we were chatting. So my wife comes up and she's like, hey, what's going on here? Like to get this bitch off me. <laughs> and I'm like, well, and so my wife's getting pissed at me. And she's like, she was totally fucking hitting on you. And I'm like, no, she wasn't. I'm like, she was just sitting there making a conversation. And she's like, yeah, she was. And she got mad at me for being that dense. But I'm glad that you guys can verify this. Men are idiots when it comes to this shit. Am I right? Are. I can tell you with a hundred stories of my one of my best friends and just the idiot stuff of him not realizing women were hitting on him and them just going, looking around, going like, what the hell? And then walking <laughs> away because he had no clue. And we would tell him that girl was hit. No, she wasn't. I know she wasn't. Like, yes, she was, dude. She was ready to leave with you. No, no. Like, okay. I honestly thought that you okay. were going to go, that girl is poison. Well, I would give him a reason not to talk to her then. Yeah, well, Even more than a reason. Uh, let us know in the chat if you guys have any other things that you think that men um, are completely normal to men that um, is just mind-blowing to women. Uh, and then also, if you're watching this on a replay, go ahead and comment down below. And uh, I'm, I'll probably bring, I'll try to bring that up on a, a later stream. I like going back through and finding comments from that people have put up on videos like this one when it's put up separately. And then if you guys are able to, to make the comment, I'll take a screenshot of it and I'll put it up there on the screen.